In this video, we're going to be unboxing this Hayward HydroPure AOP system. So this is actually great. Again, I'm encountering information that I can't get online that I needed to know, which was the footprint. What's the footprint of this thing? And I can't find that information, not in the, the literature from Hayward, not in any of the online resources I was able to dig up. The only measurements I could find actually provided a measurement that is physically larger than the box that's here. So unless there's some sort of black hole happening in here, I'm pretty sure that that's not correct. So we're going to find out something here, but we're going to also talk about what this thing is and what it's doing for your pool. Why are you buying this? Who are the pool owners that would benefit from one of these things? Okay, so first of all, the thing I want to do is get this off the table because this is awkward and gigantic and so I'm going to unbox it here but I'm going to do so on the floor and then I'm going to deposit all of the items onto the table so you can see what comes in the box when you order one of these from Hayward. Hayward Superior AOP 3-in-1 Sanitation. 3-in-1. Do you know what that means? Three in one. Let me let me move this thing. Three in one is referring to the way in which they manufacture hydroxyl radicals. Hydroxyl radicals are what you get when you have an AOP system. This particular system makes those hydroxyl radicals via a process that combines ozone and germicidal UV. So in this sense, they're saying that the ozone and the UV and the AOP, three layers of protection, and I can totally see the meeting that this happened in where the marketing guy was like, this is awesome, three in one protection, people are going to love this. And they probably do, but you know what? It's like the AOP is new technology. This is probably one of the newest technologies that we've seen in the industry, and it's something that's not widely adopted yet. If you're a technician and you have a service route with... 500 pools on it, you might have two or three pools that have one of these. I mean, depending on the area that you're in, maybe they're more popular in more affluent areas with more fancier systems and whatnot, but the average pool is not having one of these systems yet. But I think it's so funny. AOP is a process that uses hydroxyl radicals, which are something that exists in the lower Earth's atmosphere. It's something that Mother Nature uses to keep our air clean so it's kind of that same technology it's being applied to the water and it kind of works in the same way that ozone and uv does but here's the thing this is why i'm laughing about this because the aop is so crazy orders of magnitude greater in potential and capacity than ozone or uv and i had it described to me like this so picture like the room is full of bad guys we got to clear the bad guys out of here right so ozone is going to take let's say 10 minutes to clear those bad guys out of there and then well i mean it's going to take less time for the uv because it, it works a little faster it's more reactive and that's kind of the important word here it's more reactive so here's the thing aop is up to 1 million times more reactive than either uv or ozone so that means if there was like a race happening and the cops are clearing the room of all these bad guys. You have one super cop Terminator, Terminator machine that just operates one million times faster. Well, I mean, that sounds actually pretty darn effective at clearing the room of bad guys. Such is the nature of an AOP system. So when you say three in one, it's kind of like saying the new model of Corvette is powered by a jet engine. Plus a 1986 Honda Super Cub 50cc moped and three canary farts. Buy one at your local dealer. Let's take a look at this thing. Such a common question. Does it come with union, union connections? It does. It comes with CPVC union connections, two inch slip port, two and a half inch spigot port, meaning you could take a two and a half inch coupling and it fits right on there. How heavy is this thing? Not too bad. Okay. So let's face her this way. So on the back here, actually, again, we have the in and out ports. I was wondering about the orientation. Is it going to be horizontal? Is it going to be stacked vertical? Now we know. And let's just take a look at these measurements here. So for the inlet, from floor height, 
16 and one quarter inches to the beginning of the threaded manifold. On the outlet side, we're at 19 and a half inches, important information. And the footprint, again, was the information that I was looking for. That is right about, it looks like 16 and a half, I would call it 17 inches. 17 by, 17 by 12 and three quarter. So that'd give you a pretty, pretty good idea. And that doesn't include the, uh, the foot bracket mounts, which go out about three eighths of an inch uh, from there in each direction. That's where you bolt the unit to the floor. So the interface is aiming this way. It's 115 volts or 240 volt power. That's important to know that you have that option. Oh, that's interesting. I'm kind of an electrical guy, so one of the things that I look at right away is the amperage. I, you're not going to be able to read this from there, but and neither can I read it now from here. Uh, let's see, where were we here? So at 100, 120 volts, it's 1.26 amps. 240 volts, 0.63 amps. It was actually something I was wondering about this when I was uh, picking this up for installing. How much power is this thing going to use? Because I have to allot for this in my plan, and it uses a tiny amount of power, like a, like a, like a light bulb, something like that. So that's very interesting. I thought I actually assumed I made the assumption that this is going to draw more power than that. It apparently does not. Comes with a bonding lug on the back, 151 watts. So there's your answer there. How much power? 151 watts. This is just the unboxing video. If you like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I release a future video where I'm going to be installing this as part of a full suite pool and spa automation system installation, and it's going to include this hydroxyl radical generator. And before I let you go, I just want to touch on who buys one of these? What, what do you get out of this? These are, these are what people wanted when saltwater chlorinators became the latest, greatest thing. It, it just, it takes care of the pool for you, right? No, it definitely does not do that. But a lot of people bought salt chlorinators thinking that was the case and then they were subsequently unhappy with the purchase because it didn't do what they were expecting it to do. All it does is generate chlorine for your day-to-day -day maintenance dosing. It's not even all the chlorine. You need chlorine for breakpoint chlorination, things like that as well. So it's not even a standalone system for chlorine. And it doesn't do anything for pH or total alkalinity or the calcium hardness or phosphate control or cyanuric acid or any other of those things at all. So it's hardly a maintenance-free system. In fact, it's not all. Oh, the only people who said so were salesmen trying to make sales quotas, I suppose. If you want a system that does more, gets you closer to that standaloneness, this will get you there. It is not a standalone system. And it's very important I want you to, to know that. I'm not saying use this and don't use chlorine because I don't believe that to be safe. Professionally, that's not something we teach within the pool and spa industry. But if you were to design a system that had the potential, maybe eventually to get us to a point where pools and spas can be totally inherently safe, Without a chlorine residual, I'm not sure it can happen, but this is the closest thing I've seen to that for sure. We're not there yet. You still need a chlorine residual, but you're gonna use less chlorine overall. That's who buys these, is a pool owner who tells me, look, I wanna use less chlorine. What chlorine alternatives do you have for me, swimming pool, Steve? And I say, I don't genuinely believe you need an alternative. There's a reason why we use the chlorine. There, there are, there's a bunch of reasons why we use chlorine. And the, at the end of the day, there's some options on the table that you could potentially explore as alternatives to chlorine, but they all have inherent flaws in them, each and every one. And that would include this. If you tried to use a standalone, nothing else, no chlorine, is the water safe? Well, I wouldn't swim in it and I wouldn't advise you to either because chlorine is that level of protection. It's the baseline we need to keep things safe. But here's what I tell people. Don't look at chlorine as like, the day-to-day -day level it goes up it goes down like how much it rains affects things so look at chlorine on like an annual basis how much chlorine does your pool use in an annual basis and you want to use less chlorine you install one of these units you're going to lose use somewhere between let's say 40 to 60 percent less chlorine that year than the year before where you did not have a hydroxyl radical generator 
Now, it's not a free lunch. Like, it, it consumes chlorine itself as part of its function, but there's a net positive benefit to the total amount that you're using because it's doing a lot of that heavy lifting in the water and oxidizing a lot of the stuff that the chlorine would normally have to be oxidizing. That is one of the four main reasons that we use chlorine. It's a sanitizer, it's an oxidizer, it can build a residual value in the water. Come on, Steve. What was the fourth one? It's an algicide. It's an algicide. I'm sorry, sometimes I forget things. It's a lot of information, but it does those four things, one of them being an oxidizer. This is a manual process that has an oxidizing potential a million times greater than the next best things that we're offering on swimming pool and spa systems. So the people who buy this want less exposure to chlorine. They like new technology. They want the latest, greatest. I want the best possible water quality. These are the people who I immediately start steering towards hydroxyl radical generators. You are at the front edge of this technology. There's not a bunch of them out there installed yet, but if you like and subscribe to this video on this YouTube channel, you're going to see me install this one. So right away, you're going to see some information about now what's included in the box and shortly how to install one. I hope you found this information helpful. And if you did, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.